they should be able to do on their own. Your safety, as well as Chloe's, could become compromised should we involve ourselves any further. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. At number one, and boy, we've been waiting to hear more about this one for a while. We've got Star Ocean, the Divine Force. For those of you new, technically an entirely new story in the series' history and touted as a choice-driven science fiction fantasy semi-open world game. This title was announced October last year, surprisingly just received the release date of October, 27 this year and on its way to PCs and both generation of consoles. Check it out. And all this can change. Besides, our ride will be coming soon. Which means we have to take what we want. God, you mean we gotta fight them too? Must we fight? This will never change until one or the other is no more. Golden Interstellar has already deployed forces throughout the system to intercept them. Don't tell me you're seriously planning to strike at the Federation. Why exactly are you here, pray tell? Have you aims at world domination? Any battle of yours is a battle of ours. I know of many experiences in this world far worse than death. There's nothing we can do. Is evacuating the correct course of action? That leaves not all well. Don't worry, Dad. I got this. But why would you do that? Perhaps it's best if you enlighten them yourself. Tell them your purpose and identity. It is not our intent to conquer. And why should we believe you? That's set in stone. The past is forever. But the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. So focus on the future, not the past. Coming up behind that, it is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. As of this moment, set to launch next winter as a next generation console exclusive and coming to PCs simultaneously, Square Enix went on and revealed a new trailer, very brief one, showcasing the world, the characters, then said the words, and I quote, new players here might even enjoy the game more if they're starting their Final Fantasy VII journey with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Take a look. You were here with me five years ago. Where are you? What happened to you? I'm trying so hard to find you. Sorry. Feel like I failed you. At number three, we have Eternites, probably. Well, what was just revealed to be an apocalyptic dating sim and an action game as this company's first ever project in which you technically take on the journey to find love through madness. Here's a trailer. Eternites or Eternites is said to be coming to PCs and the PlayStation consoles only to both generations early next year. into the abyss. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife. 
and found a new order to see us onto tomorrow. Guys, just in case you missed it, Square Enix then also released a new trailer for Final Fantasy 16, actually no more than a couple of weeks ago, finally a release window of summer 2023, and supposedly the game's coming to PlayStation 5 and PCs only, pretty much as a single player focused action RPG, like a lot of previous entries in this series. This game will supposedly be a timed exclusive on the PlayStation 5, and this is how it actually looks like. Losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. See, not too long ago, Square Enix then also came out and announced that Kingdom Hearts 4 is now being developed pretty much fully for consoles and PCs, then went on and debuted a gameplay trailer for what seems to be so far the most realistic looking Kingdom Hearts game to date. That's pretty much all there is with no additional details on this one at the moment and apparently this is captured using Unreal Engine 5. Check it out. still lingers within you, then accept my offer and join me. A couple of weeks ago, and I've actually mentioned this one before, Square Enix, which is on a roll today, went on and announced a new Valkyrie game going by Elysium. Supposedly a spin-off of Valkyrie Profile from all the way back 20 something years ago. To accompany the good news, the fine folks released a trailer for this one, said this game's coming to the PlayStation consoles and PCs only. It is gonna be released sometime later this year. Check it out. All we hold precious lies on the brink of annihilation. Become my tool of intervention and save this world from doom.
just in case you missed out on the update. See, a little less than a couple of months ago, Granblue Fantasy Relink's developers did come out and reveal that they're currently working on the long-awaited JRPG that was teased I don't know, five years ago, and that it'll be coming to PlayStation consoles and PCs only. Well, guess what? Only hours ago, the fine folks at the company once again just came out and announced the bad news that the game is now pushed back to early next year. However, finally released another trailer. Take a look. Moving on, and about, I'm not really sure, maybe six years since its initial reveal, we finally got confirmation that the next Dragon Quest game, Flames of Fate, is now on its way to the Nintendo Switch. Other consoles as well, obviously, and PCs, and that it'll be the first game in the series to be using Unreal Engine 5, which is huge. Now, this game's supposedly releasing early to mid next year, and the gameplay of which we do suspect so far to be very different from before. So just keep it in mind for now. Twelve. エラバレシ運命の炎。デビル様な悪魔を召喚し刺激する。俺のようなデビル様なら私たちは彼らの死を阻止すればいいというわけですね。世界の終わりを止めるために世界に破滅をもたらす大いなる存在が降臨する。
On the other hand, we have something pretty new here going by the name Harvest Stella. Well, as I've mentioned, a totally brand new IP that came out way only hours ago, touted as a life simulation RPG that combines all farming elements and an RPG style combat system. Here you can see what the combat is actually all about or just looks like. Harvest Stella itself releases on the Nintendo Switch and PCs only November 4 this year. Passes by until Quietus inevitably arrives, interrupting the cycle of the seasons. Crops wither, and all life is threatened. Share in your new friend's sorrow, joy, pain, and courage, as you stand together to face momentous ordeals. This is the story of those who live alongside the seasons of life and death. Of their fight against the rules of this world. This is authentic action RPG. Up next, we have by developers Three Rings, who just came out way with the debut of a new action RPG IP going by Trinity Trigger. Technically, as they stated, to be a 90s inspired traditional role playing game and about the life of a young man caught up in fate who will eventually save the world. Trinity Trigger over here is due for Switch and the PlayStation consoles only September 15, a demo for which is also available on the Nintendo eShop and the PlayStation Store right now. Take a look. <laughs> バトルは、クォータービューで展開するリアルタイムアクション。それは敵の弱点を見抜き、武器を使い分け、有利に戦うこと。フィールドの発見。それは新たな道を切り開き、まだ見ぬ宝を見つけること。At number 13, NIS America just released a new trailer for The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero, went on and announced that the game is due for the PlayStation 4, Switch, and PCs September 27 this year. Here's a trailer, just in case you're wondering, Trails from Zero originally did come out in Japan as a PSP game about a dozen years ago, and this is, as you can see, its first English version. <laughs> Chasing after Ma. 
Mr. Liza, the White Whistle! And thus, the one she risked her life to protect is still going strong to this day. Leader, I'm gonna do my best! Moving on, we've got Maiden Abyss, binary star falling into darkness. The new game in its series of manga-based games that date back to more than six years ago. Well, just a few months ago, Spike Chunsoft went on to reveal a video game adaptation of Made in Abyss and said it'll eventually land on all platforms. And that at its core, this game is going to be an action RPG, just in case you're new to then release a new trailer and said this game's due out September 2nd this year. Check it out. Yes. Let's go! What in the world am I? My power irritates me. Giving up already? As if I'd let things end in a place like this! At number 15, it is Yun Chronicle 100 Heroes, the pretty long-awaited Suikoden spiritual successor from last year that actually went on and got it 10 times its initial goal on Kickstarter ever since. A turn-based Japanese role-playing game where you can basically recruit a hundred heroes through its campaign. 100 Heroes was initially a PC exclusive and now coming to every single console including Switch, possibly early next year. Coming up next, it is Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, technically an expansion pack for the latest entry that adds new content to the game. In about pretty much every department, some more quality of life improvements and features too, obviously more monsters, new map, and more areas to explore. This time around, a new story arc, which is probably the most interesting thing about this expansion pack all the way. Check it out. Sunbreak releases on Switch and PCs June 30th this year, actually today. Shall feed the beast and return to darkness. A story ends, another begins. Wandering flames. I see you found your home. On the other hand, well, we just went on and got ourselves a new gameplay trailer for Rain Magus. Well, what some of you might have been already familiar with from earlier to be a virtual reality fantasy exploration based action RPG, a pretty good game that was supposed to be funded through a Kickstarter campaign, which then eventually failed. What we hear is it'll be going through a second phase and hopefully releasing by the end of 2022. Check it out. This game's coming to PC VR headsets only. Last but not least, we have the old 1988's Dragon Quest 3 remake, technically an HD 2D rendered game in style of other games from earlier this year, like Triangle Strategy. Apparently the game's now set to come our way once again later this year with a release window. What we do know so far is that this game's actually coming to every single console in addition to PCs and also the Nintendo Switch, just in case you missed it real shortly. <laughs> 